Hi, I'm Liam and I'm Christian. We're both apprentices here at Vinyrbots and over the next couple of weeks we're going to show you our projects that we've been doing. But first we need to tidy up as we lose everything and it's not safe to work in an environment what looks something like this. Yeah, it's really bad. It's a, it's a real mess. Come on Christian, you know the drill. So now we're finished tidying up, we can begin to show you some tools and accessories we use in the workplace. I am going to be showing you some different types of drill bits and what they're used for, as Christian is going to show you some electrical tools he uses. So the drill bits I'm about to show you are all from an Erbauer drill bit set. So the first one I'm going to show you is a a twist bit. It's the most common type. You'll find it in everyone who has a, a power drill will own one of these. It's it's made for um, metal, cutting metal, plastic, wood, and it's made from two different types of materials. You can get the high speed steel ones, which are good for metal, as they're durable, they're flexible, and they can go up to a high temperature without warping. Whereas carbon steel is the other type of material used. They're more brittle and mostly used for wood and plastic. If you was to use them on metal, they'd just snap. So the next drill bit we have is a masonry drill bit. What this is used for is bricks, stone and concrete. It has a tungsten carbide tip. Tungsten carbide it's infused tip. onto a steel spiral shaft. Electricians would use this to go through the brick of your house when installing a satellite, for example, so they can feed the wire through into your house. The tool, the equipment they'd use for this is a hammer drill, as it provides enough power to hit the the brick with the the tip, and then it'll break through and then the spiral will be able to bring the, the bit through, taking it further, therefore creating a hole straight through. So the last bit we have is a spur point bit. It's often referred to as a wood bit and it is a bit what is used for drilling through wood, obviously. It has a point on the edge and it has two raised spurs at either side these spurs will keep the bit straight when it's drilling in, into a hole. And the spiral, it has sharp edges on the sides, which then makes the hole smooth as you're drilling through. When you, when you finish drilling through, if you check your hole, your hole will be nice and smooth. I want to have a with this one. <laughs> have you ever tried walking in heels? My little sister tried it on me, I did it once. I did it in River Island. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know the different types of drill bits and what materials you, sh you should use them on. I'm now going to demonstrate why you should always use the right bit for the right type of material you're using. What we have here is a piece of steel clamped up to the table with an Irwin quick grip and then we're going to be using the three tips you were showed earlier in this Makita drill. But before you begin, always make sure you have your safety gear on. Eye protection, just in case bits of metal fly up. Gloves, so you don't get no metal shards. And ear protection, so you don't get any ear impairment. So now what we're first going to use is a wood bit. Get it nice and tight so it don't come out. So 
So that's obviously not right. Next we'll try the masonry. Make sure that's nice and tight. Performed a little bit better than the wood bit. It's like more of an indent, but it's still not the right bit for the job. We need to go with a twist bit now, which is actually used for metal, as it is a high speed steel. Put this in, make sure that's nice and tight. As you can see, the drill bit has allowed us to drill a hole straight through the steel. This is hardened steel, so it took a while for us to do. Now you know about the different types of drill bits and what they should be used for, I'll hand you over to Christian. Thanks, mate. Now I'll be talking about the three tools that I use in my specialty. Okay, these are what are called long nose pliers. These help me get into hard to reach places and mainly for precision. Next are the wire strippers. These pretty much strip the insulation off the wires, make them bare so I can work with them. And the third tool is known as the wire cutters. These are pretty self explanatory. Um, just find the length that you want a cut and pretty much simply cut it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I use all three of these to help me to do this one project. Let's do this. Okay, so uh, as an example, I've got this motor shield. Uh, now imagine this to be in a hard to reach location. For example, in one of the projects that we are going to be using this for. So, I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to put a wire into one of these parts. To start off with first, just cut off any length of wire that you'll be needing for any task. We won't be needing that much, so I'll be cutting to around this length. Next, we're going to be using the wire strippers to get the bare wire out. Remember this is only as an example but I'm going to be using these pliers to help me show you yeah, where we're going to put the bare wire into the part. Okay, we're just going to twist the white wires to make it easier that way not all of the wire strands go all over the place when we put it in. And as a look or help to tighten it up, we'll be using a screwdriver. And there we go. All three tools used to help this further into our project. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. What are you doing? That was good. Nice. Why are you It's squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything used in this video will be linked in the description. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. Follow us on social media to see our latest products. See ya. Bye.